I'm so happy to see you again on my channel. Today we have stretching class and we need it stretching every day, everywhere and after workout you can do it. Why? Because this is very good for the body and the after workout this would help to recover the muscles. So let's start. We start from the breathing, relax your body, inhale arms to the top, exhale two times more breathe in and breathe out and one more time and breathe out open your arms and we go three times open the chest we do inhale and exhale we lift our chest and across the arms breathe in and breathe out one more time, breathe in and breathe out. Open the chest, last one, and breathe out. Good job. Come back to your arms, put them behind your lower back. And we go to open our hips. Lift your knee more high as is possible for you now. Open and come back to the floor. And we do eight times. Two, rotate, follow your body, follow your possibilities for now, don't rush and don't push yourself more than you can do for now. Last two, and switch the leg. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, and last one, good job, legs with apart, one toe look to the front, one to the side, your palm still on the lower back and we go with inhale from the top exhale we bend to the 90 degrees you can feel your hamstring and come back inhale exhale inhale and exhale keep your back straight and last one, inhale, exhale, and switch the side. One toe to the front, and let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Go back three times more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Come back. Open your legs a little bit more. We come into the ground. One arm on the middle. Another one will go up and our face following our palm. Come back. Inhale. Exhale. Switch the side. Again, one more round. Inhale from the down. Exhale to the top. Follow your palm. Switch the side. Open the chest. And last circle. Switch the side. And come back to the ground. Now slowly we will walk to our left leg. Try to put your belly closer to the leg.
and slowly switch the side move to the right leg and we do the same one more round switch the side come back to the left leg good job and to the right good come back to the middle slowly walk to the left leg switch the position for the feet and come to the lunge your knee 90 degree your arms parallel to your leg and we go to start make pulls push your hips more down slowly come to the knee come up and again push your hips more down more down you can do as well pulls or you can push just once and enjoy your feelings <laughs> okay put your feet on the floor one arm from the down and one arm from the top and take the palms together and continue to push your hips to the ground mm, good feelings yeah very nice good come back to your knee and take your feet and pull closer to your hips you will feel it quadriceps yeah i'm sure you feel it i'm sure very nice mm. good job drop the leg to the floor and slowly sit down one leg straight another one parallel to your inner muscles press the knee more to the floor take your toe and push your chest to the front inhale exhale continue to breathe in and breathe out very nice now from here we across the arms the right arm coming to the left knee and opposite yeah and other arm coming overhead but be sure that your face all the way open so you're not coming to your toe like this and looking under the your arm you're going from this way for now if you can touch or can take your toe it's fine it's good continue to do if not just stay in that position where you are now yeah don't rush and don't push yourself because it's very easy to pull some muscles when you push yourself more than you can for now so we are here or we are in different spots it's fine you should feel the your oblique the all side muscles slowly open put your arm behind yourself look to the shoulder side inhale exhale one more time inhale and exhale we again come back to the toe very nice and come back two legs straight be sure you sit on the bones you can help by arms take your glutes and make them more up you should feel like you on the bones legs together 
and we take our legs under the calves and pull ourselves closer to the legs. The main belly coming first to the legs. So if you are belly not touching the legs, you not try to drop your head closer to the legs. First will be belly, then chest, and only after we drop head. So follow your body, follow the, your feelings. If you feel you cannot, it's fine. You cannot for today, but with practice, you will reach all your goals and all your possibilities. Come back. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, we go down. And again, come back a little bit more dynamic, yeah? So eight times, inhale, exhale, and come back. Each time, try to come more deep, more deep. Push your palms more to the front, four. Exhale, five, straight back. seven and last one and we take our feet and we push ourselves more to the front you should feel like your spine start to be more longer very nice feelings yeah and slowly with lifted chest come back and open the shoulders good job and the knees your toes together knees open as much as is possible for you now you come in first to the elbows yeah this will be for the inner muscles now you will feel it then you go more to the front with your arms very nice I guess you feel now what I mean yeah and come back to the elbows and open your legs to the frog your feet on the ground and push your hips to the back oh yeah I think everyone liking this exercise because of the feelings of very nice but someone can do more deep and someone not it depends on how they open your hip joints slowly push and again come back your toes together and sit down more deep Good job, come back to the arms, come to the feet, and we sit down. Your toes look to the sides, your elbows between your knees, push your elbows outside, and we can move our hips side to side. Try to hold the, your back straight, side to side. Good job. Come to the arms, slowly roll up and with round back, roll up and open your shoulders. Good job. Breathe in, arms overhead and breathe out. Good. And now one toe to the side, another one as well and we go to the lunge and we do all the same for the other side so i just will remind you to protect your knee you should have the 90 degrees in your knee so we come into the lunge arms inside leg outside 
arms parallel to the shoulders and we start to pull our hips more down. Slowly we come to the knee, come up, one arm from the down, one from the top and push the, your hips more down. Drop your feet to the ground and enjoy the feelings. Slowly come back to your knee, grab your feet and pull closer to the hip. Yeah, you feel it, quadriceps, yeah, very nice. Drop again your feet to the ground and slowly from here we sit down. So we do the same, our feet parallel to our inner muscles, we push the our knee more closer to the floor, grab your toe, push your chest to the front and few circle with the breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. job now we cross the arms remind you face all the way open and we try to come closer to our toe if you can you grab your toe and you look front of you what you see you see me <laughs> yeah inhale and exhale Slowly open, put your arm behind you and look to the shoulder side. Inhale, exhale. And one more time, breathe in and breathe out. Again, bow to your toe. You feel it oblique you, yeah? Inhale. Good. Come back. And again. Our feet together. Legs straight. Be sure you sit on the bones. And now we take our toes. Our elbows coming to the legs. Push our chest to the toes side. Inhale and exhale. Very important not push and not rush yourself is to do some movements, yeah? I remind you that stretching uh, supposed to be more slowly and more carefully that usually you do everything because very easy to pull some muscles so please be careful inhale exhale and slowly come back now sit down more deep take your knees and with round back lay down pull your knees closer to the chest then one leg coming to the ground pull one leg switch the leg good now open the arms bend one knee and go to the side you can take your knee and help a little bit to go to the side but don't 
push too much, yeah? You should feel it, your possibilities. So just a little bit careful, you push. Then come back and switch this side. Your shoulders still on the ground and we work just with our knee and hips. And come back. Good job. Grab your knees, push yourself to sit down. Inhale and exhale. Again, we sit down now. More to the back. Across your legs. And come between the knees to the elbows. Inhale, exhale. Slowly push your arms more to the front and roll to the knees. Open your toes, make them together. Knees with apart, arms more to the front and we sit down to the heels. Be sure that your hips on the heels. So push your arms more and more to the front. Try to feel like your spine starts to be more longer. You can push your shoulders side to side between the knees. Inhale and exhale. Come to the knees parallel to the hips. Your arms parallel to the, your shoulders. And we start to squeeze our lower back and push our head to the top. Inhale here and exhale. We make a cat. So push your hips inside. Lift the belly, lift the chest. Long your arms. Chin touch the chest and again inhale with exhale one more time inhale exhale slowly come to the toes to the down dog position push your elbows to the front out Slowly start to walk closer to the, your arms. Soft knees, or you can a little bit bend them. Yeah, your chest and your belly on the legs. Grab your calves behind. Drop your head down. And from here, try to make your legs more straight. Exhale. Drop the arms. Make the straight back, straight legs, straight arms. If you cannot touch the ground, you can be more up. Yeah, the focus on the straight back and straight arms. Roll up to the top and lift the chest. Shoulders to the back. Open the chest. Inhale. Arms overhead. Exhale. Down. And two times more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One arm on the hip, other overhead, and slowly push yourself to the side, face open, you should feel the oblique, all your side, very nice, and slowly switch, again one arm overhead, and push. Good job, come back. I'm so happy that you was with me. We are done and I hope you enjoy it. So if you like it, this class, put the finger up and subscribe to my page. I will be so 
grateful and appreciated that you will stay with me. I wish you a good day and have a great mood and see you in my next video. Bye.